Let's bring in NBC national security analyst Jeremy Bash, who served as chief of staff at both the Pentagon and the CIA. Jeremy, good morning. What strikes you hey, morning, about Savannah. Iran's actions here? How concerning is this? Well, Iran is not a very sophisticated cyber actor, Savannah. <clears throat> but the broader concern is that more sophisticated actors like Russia, if they get their hands on voter information, and as Pete noted, that information is fairly widely available, a more sophisticated actor could bombard voters with disinformation. Do you think that Iran is trying to hurt President Trump? That's what the director of national intelligence, Director Ratcliffe, said. Or is it an effort to just make a mess every, of everything, so chaos and so doubt about the election process? <clears throat> well, certainly to sow chaos, Savannah, that's clear. I think every foreign adversary wants to undermine the signature moment in American democracy, a presidential election. But I find it hard to believe that what Radcliffe said is accurate, because, of course, these emails went to Democratic voters and said, don't come to the polls. So I don't understand how that somehow damages Donald Trump. That appears to actually damage Joe Biden. There's so much focus on Iran because those were the emails that were sent just yesterday. Those they're scary emails purporting to be from the Proud Boys. But it was interesting. The FBI and the intelligence community also says Russia is actively interfering right now. What do you think Russia is up to? Did they reveal anything there? Well, Russia has a lot of mechanisms to try to attack the election. First of all, they could engage in propaganda on social media and elsewhere, as they did in 2016. But the other thing they can do is a hack and dump operation. And this week, 50 former intelligence officials, many of whom I worked with, including Republicans, including career officials, wrote a letter saying that they believe that this effort to provide dirt on Hunter Biden to the New York Post by Rudy Giuliani appears to be and has all the hallmarks of a Russian disinformation campaign. So I think that's the concern that we have to be thinking about. Maybe this is a naive question, but will be being outed like this by the U.S. authorities do anything to deter Iran, Russia, and perhaps China? I think it helps. I think it's very critical that someone like Director Ray, who is clearly nonpartisan and, and has a lot of cred credibility, was there. And he said that our vote is not being undermined, that people should still go to the polls. So I think it's important to do that. But at the end of the day, whoever's the next president, whether it's Trump or Biden, they're going to have to impose costs on these foreign actors. After 2016, Savannah, it was open season. Russia paid no price. And in fact, I would argue they got rewarded.